Alright, so I'm making a quick little platformer today. I'm basing it off of a character that I made a couple years ago named uh, Bacon Ninja. He's a little ninja guy who is a piece of bacon. And, you know, he's really flexible and stuff because he's a piece of bacon. So, yeah, um, we're going to create in Unity. And so let's get started firing up a new, new session here. Okay, so one thing that I did differently is I have the setting set up for 2D, which, to be honest, I have never done this before, so let's f see what happens. I'm going to... It's weird. It's weird seeing things in 2D. But, alright. Let's go ahead and just make a basic cube. And yeah, so this will be our, our starting platform that we can begin on. Oh jeez, it's hard to even tell what unit size these things are. Okay, um make another one. Actually, we can just copy this one. Let's shrink it down this way. Let's make it tall that way. I have a feeling this is going to eventually end up being quite a bit easier. Okay, now we have our basic moving platform. Should we make it uh, way longer? I'm going to make some little mini obstacles here also for us to have to go around. I'm going to set up a collider for each and every single one of these, also. Oh yeah, by default they have colliders, so... Cool. Now we can toggle this 2D button here, and we can trigger, and we can look at it in 3D view. And it feels so weird, because making a 2D game... I don't know, I've never done it before, so it's kind of interesting. But um, one thing I think, I'm going to take it out of 2D view. I'm going to make everything wider, just for my own preference. Actually, we might build this in 3D, and then change it to 2D at a later point in time. Because one thing you can do is with the camera, so the camera here, you can toggle this projection to using orthographic and perspective perspective you can see we'll give it a nice 3D view and if you're looking down here in the camera preview you'll notice that in with graphic it's going to change to oh yeah and forward and backward won't make a difference either we have to increase its viewport right no maybe not there we go grab that make it wider so, like so. Okay. Yeah, solid. Okay, so orthographic is typically what we build our games in, right? It gives us the 3D projection. It's not a light, also. Oh, where is light? Come on, I always forget. Plus, they changed up everything. Unity 4.6, there's a lot of additions added. Okay, so now we're looking at the main camera. Maybe we could have it switch between 3D and 2D. That might be cool. Hmm, I'm thinking actually, maybe I can make a second camera. And I'll have this be our 3D. switching its X rotation. Alright, well I'm 
I'm notorious for making my games way too hard, so might as well continue with that tradition. Uh, let's go. Now we can go to the 2D view. Now we know that it's now they know that it's nice and wide. I'm not gonna have to deal with much other than that. that. So I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna move it up. I'm gonna make it really small because I'm gonna force the player to have to jump onto this little block. Proceeding. That's how he's gonna have to get to this because this is gonna be too big. Alright, yeah, that looks nice. But, um, okay, and I'll make the goal just to be, you know, to get to this this section over here. Let's go ahead and create a material. Let's make it. Let's make it green. Now I'm going to make another cube. Oops. Now I'm going to make an empty game object. And we're going to make this cube green. And we make it big. Yeah, we're gonna make it a, a trigger. Because we'll eventually add the victory script to it. Okay. Now let's go ahead and just make another material. This will be a representation of our of our character, hero, player, whatever you wanna call it. Bacon ninja. We'll make it blue actually. Let's go ahead and create a cube. Put them at the beginning. Alright, let's name it. Bacon Ninja. Might as well tag it as player. Since player is a built in tag, but you can just use it at any point in time. Alright, now I'm going to write that C sharp script. My hands are super cold, so this might be this might be a little more difficult than I thought. <laughs> Let's just call it move. I'm gonna fire up Monravel up here. Now the cool thing about a 2D game would be we only need right and left, so that's that's nice. So let's do private bool left, private bool right. Consistency is key also so it's not messing up code. Alright, this will be our left movement. This is gonna be our right movement.
transform.translate Delta time, I think that's the right one. Oops. Now we need that jump. I think I'm going to change that to get key code space, I think is what you use, but I don't remember the syntax for it, so I'll have to look it up later. Oh, what are we going to do if we jump? Uh, we're just going to set jump to equal true. this otherwise I'll hop back over into unity and add a rigid body onto this component otherwise it will not work when I add force for the jump and actually now is a good time to set constraints also so there is no z-axis so you can freeze both of those we're gonna freeze the rotation on the y because we'll only change it through script Sorry, now I didn't check, but we'll just do uh, 100. Then let's do a. We're gonna do a coroutine, all right? Uh, and yeah, so we're going to set jump equal to. So it's only jumping for a total of like half a second or something like that. So it's a enumerator, not numberator, numerator. Seconds. Uh, let's do like, yeah, let's do half a second. Maybe force being added. And then after that happens, we're going to set jump to equal to false. Oh, 
but my messed up my script here. There we go. All right, on top I get Unity, and let's add that script onto this guy. Let's see if it runs. I'm lagging out hard or it's mm, going to crash. Oh, okay. I think I know why. Yeah, okay. Two audio listeners because I have two cameras. Duh. So let's just turn off. Let's just disable that one. Hopefully that will fix it. Oh, yeah, and of course, I haven't set up my project settings. So I have to go back in here. Let's just make these last two left and right. Oh, and I guess I'll need, um, which I'm already set up, so that should just work by default. Okay, and that's way too much force, so we just took off. Oh, we're moving right and left, awfully slowly. So that's okay. That's not going to work for us now. Uh, let's hop back into mono. Let's do change this to maybe 10 and let's increase this to jumping high at all. Maybe that could be a maybe that could be a mechanic, who knows? Make it super hard to jump. Probably wouldn't be very fun. Okay. So that's fine. That's a good start. Maybe let's find a good middle ground here. Maybe we can do like twenty. Probably not maybe way too way too short still, but it's okay. Actually, I think for this game, we're going to use, instead of transform or translate to move them, we will use the same add force method that we're using for the jump, so we'll give it sort of a smooth, smooth running. Alright, not going anywhere. That's okay. Of course, why would we only going by one? This might be crazy. Hmm. 
basically the problem we're dealing with is we're going to need to make we're going to need to change the material of this ground. Oh wow, he's just going hard hard that one way too. Okay. Let me hop back into Unity now and show you guys kind of what's going on here. So we increased it. Oh, but it's just backwards now. Move the wrong one. And so now we can kind of jump, but it's very broken. So we'll hop back into mono. Oh, I made these backwards. So left is negative. not going to do this times 20 multiplier. I want to see just kind of what that feels like without it. Oh, I think we're good to go now. Oh yeah, that's real, real slow going there. That's okay. to do is I'm going to make project create a new uh, physic material which is going to allow me no friction whatsoever so my guy will just be able to slide around really easily uh, minimum of everything and then we add it to this main collider here so now we should be able to see our character actually moving around a little bit. Really slow. That jump's not that great either. But we can fly, so that's cool. <laughs> okay. So we need to increase this. Oh, sorry, go back into mono. We need to increase our jump for sure because we don't want to be able to fly. So let me make that. 1.5 second and a half. We're going to change this to a little bit of a higher setting too. We're gonna let's make it let's make it 60. That might be too much, but we'll see. Now we're gonna go back in immunity. We're gonna try it out. Wow, that is. That's epic. Some epic flying. Okay. <sighs> it's still kind of slow. So I want to make that... I want to make it faster. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create... I'm going to try and create acceleration, but I'm going to go back to transform at translate. Saving time about delta. I also I'm going to use mathf.lerp. What lerping does it is it is a, you give a starting value and an ending value and the amount of time that you want it to take to increase that starting value to achieve that ending value. So let's just start with start with one and we'll go to Let's go to 20. No, this might not work. Oh, 5 over 1 second. This might not work. This might be this might be real bad. But let's try it out. Oh, actually, sorry. Go back into mono. Might as well do for both. Yeah, 
Yeah, well, it took off. I guess I should have been expecting that. Uh, okay, let's go back like, and change this. Move that back in time so I time that delta time. See if this gives us something we're looking for in terms of movement. Negatives are in the wrong spot also. Keep doing that. Keep doing that. That's bad. Okay. Save it. Let's go back into Unity. This is too crazy. That was way too much. So let's change this to. Let's try going to like. Yeah, let's try 12, 15. 15. That might be a good, good even ground. Still wasn't great. I think we're not doing it over a long enough period. Let's try doing it over three seconds. It's like the character three seconds to get to maximum velocity. Still just just goes one ass right away. That's okay. It's okay. At least it's moving decently enough. I'm gonna try changing this uh, jump so it it's the same little trick with uh, our map of that lerp. Let's try going. Hmm. We just start high and end low. So maybe start with 50, go to 5, all over. Wait, 2 seconds. Still isn't quite what I'm looking for. Gonna hop back into mono. Let's try going. Oh, maybe it's not lurping because it's being called in the update function. So update function is getting called once every frame. So this is getting called. So same thing with left. That's why I'm not getting like a acceleration looking because it's just moving left. It's continuously trying to do this lerp over three seconds, but it's getting called every frame and resetting it each time. Same thing with the jump. You know, it's being we're jumping for half a second. I'm trying to lerp it over. 22 seconds, but it's just re it's just recalling itself over and over and over and over and over again. Um, well, okay, whatever. Let's just hop back in Unity real quick. I'm gonna make one more really fast script for when we when we win win the level. Uh, here I just made this win script right here. It's just sitting here in our assets folder. So I don't have.
hop back into mono. And we're just going to say void on trigger enter. Game object dot tag is equal to player since that's the tag of our player. Win equals true. You have one. I still say if they enter. And you have one. And we'll make also a button to exit out of the game. New rect screen dot. I can't type. test this let's just go ahead and put our guy right up top Jimmy Jim chop Jim Jimmy Jim Jim chop Jim chop <laughs> and can I go ahead and throw that script onto this guy you win your trigger when you enter it okay you won cool let me click to exit um, Okay, sorry I didn't switch it so you guys can see what's going on. So once we click to exit the game, we're going to make this an if statement. We'll do application dot quit. And that won't do anything for us. Oh, sorry, that's a function. So that won't do anything for us when we're running it in unity game but when we run it inside of our we run it if, if we build the game and we run it as a build game then when we hit that button it'll actually close the application itself which is nice uh, let's go back once more into unity real quick and I'll show you kind of what we got so I moved um, moved this guy up top so I could just show what happens when we win so you're gonna fall down and you're gonna win good job you won I click to exit, but that doesn't do anything. Uh, one other thing I'm going to do real quick is if we do that, after you win, we're going to set time dot time scale zero point zero, and this will effectively freeze 
of the game, except for player movements. Player movements will be able to be changed still, but our character will float. Gravity won't work. Nothing like that. All right, let's go back into Unity. I'll show you this. Fall down. Bam. See our character gets stuck, but. Oh, I guess it is freezing. I player movement controls. That's good. I didn't think it would. Anyways, um, one thing also we can do is we can take our main camera. We can attach it onto our player. Our bacon ninja. follow nicely and yeah, oh yeah there we go good cool that's bacon ninja real short edition 45 minute video um, okay I'm going to stop recording for just a second and then I'll be right back